your brain has been lying to you your entire life. And I'm about to prove it with 10 disturbing ways your memory has been secretly creating fake people in your past. By the end of this video, you'll question every childhood friend you think you remember. Let's start with something that'll blow your mind right now. Number 10. You think you remember your childhood clearly? Wrong. Your brain isn't a video recorder. It's more like a fan fiction writer. Every single time you remember something, you're not playing back a file. You're rebuilding it from scratch, and your brain fills in missing pieces with complete fiction. Here's the kicker that'll make you question everything. Each time you remember something, you're actually changing it. Scientists call this reconsolidation. But wait until you hear about the phantom friend phenomenon. It gets way worse. Number 9. You probably have vivid memories of childhood friends who never existed. Scientists proved this with a simple test. They gave people wordless like bed, rest, awake, tired, dream. Notice what's missing? The word sleep. But 90% of people swear they heard it. Your brain did the same thing with people. That red-headed kid Tommy from second grade? He's probably a mix of three different kids smushed into one fake person. But here's what's truly disturbing about family photos. Number eight, looking at childhood photos doesn't preserve memories, it destroys them. Every time you look at that cute birthday photo, you're erasing what actually happened and replacing it with fiction. Scientists proved this by showing people fake photos of themselves as kids in hot air balloons. After three sessions, 50% developed detailed false memories of trips that never happened. They remembered being scared, what they wore, everything. Your family album is actively rewriting your past right now. But the 1990s false memory epidemic shows just how dark this gets. Number seven, when therapists accidentally implanted abuse memories. In 1990, a nurse named Nadine Cool went to therapy. She came out believing she'd been in a satanic cult and experienced horrific abuse. None of it ever happened. This wasn't rare. Thousands of people developed completely false trauma memories through bad therapy. Brain scans showed these fake memories activated the exact same pathways as real ones. Their brains couldn't tell fiction from reality. Neither can yours. Speaking of your brain's lies. Number six. When your memory has gaps, your brain doesn't leave them empty. It fills them with believable lies. Every single person does this constantly. You think you had deep conversations with your college roommate about the future, but if they moved out after one semester, your brain probably stole conversations from three different people and gave credit to the roommate. You'd pass a lie detector test because you genuinely believe these fake conversations happened. But here's the really twisted part about confidence. Number five, the more confident you are about a memory, the more likely it's fake. This sounds backwards, but it's scientifically proven. Real memories are fuzzy with gaps. False memories are crystal clear and emotionally intense. Your brain overproduces fake details to make lies feel real. It's like how con artists are overly charming. The most confident witnesses in court cases are usually completely wrong. But other people are poisoning your memories right now. Number four, when someone tells you a story about something you supposedly did together, your brain can create a false memory of that event. Scientists call this social contagion of memory. Your cousin mentions getting lost at the mall when you were seven. You have no memory of this, but just hearing it causes your brain to construct the entire experience, feeling scared, crying for mom, everything. Family gatherings are basically memory contamination festivals. Everyone's sharing versions of events, and by the end, half the family has false memories of things that happened to someone else. But your childhood self is the biggest lie of all. Number three, most people think they remember back to age three or four. Scientists have proven this is impossible. Your brain wasn't developed enough to form lasting memories until age six or seven. So where do those early memories come from? Your brain constructs them from family stories and home videos you watched when you were older. You think you remember your fourth birthday party, but you're actually remembering the video of your birthday party. Your brain converted external information into fake first-person memories. Most of your early personality exists only in false memories your adult brain invented. But trauma memories have an even more disturbing secret. Number two, people assume traumatic memories are burned into the brain with perfect accuracy. Trauma actually makes memories less reliable, not more. During trauma, stress hormones flood your brain and disrupt memory formation. Your brain remembers fragments, sounds, smells, feelings, but not the sequence. Later, your brain organizes these fragments into a story, filling gaps with details that make sense but didn't happen. People with PTSD are more susceptible to false memories because their brains are desperately trying to make sense of emotional fragments. Your flashback might be part real, part fiction. You can't tell the difference. But the final truth about the people in your past will break your brain. Number one, that mean teacher who ruined fifth grade? She's probably a combination of three different teachers, a strict parent, and a movie character. Your brain doesn't store people in separate files. It creates prototypes, the mean teacher, the fun uncle, the weird kid. 
These prototypes absorb traits from multiple people and fictional characters over time. You have detailed conversations with your high school best friend that never happened. Your brain created placeholder conversations to represent the emotional reality of your friendship. The cruel part is, these false memories feel more meaningful than real ones because your brain designed them to capture emotional essence. The people in your false memories seem like characters because your brain amplified their traits for emotional impact. Your entire past is a highlight reel starring composite characters based loosely on real people. Most of your life story is creative nonfiction at best. Here's the scariest part that'll keep you up tonight. There's no way to tell which memories are real and which ones your brain invented. They all feel equally authentic because they use the same neural networks. Your entire sense of self is built on memories your brain has been secretly editing your whole life. Hit subscribe if this destroyed your sense of reality as much as it destroyed mine while researching it. And let me know in the comments which childhood friend you're now questioning, because I guarantee you have at least three that never existed.